Hey guys, I just thought I'd do a quick demonstration on uh, a um, saving something from the dead, if you like, uh, with electrolysis. I recently did an instructional video on um, how to clean up rusty metal and old tools uh, with electrolysis, and I'll put a link on this page, or if I can work out how to put one on the screen now, I'll do it for you. And it shows you the exact set setup and instructions on how to do it. But this would be a good demonstration to show you that um, things as badly rusted as this, um, whilst it can't be restored back to working condition, it's certainly restorable to a point that it's um, that's saleable, a collectible item, it'll look pretty cool. As you see it now, it's been dug out of the dirt and it's been buried a long time. Uh, Victorian railways, it would be pretty early padlock, uh, well and truly seized up. This brass swivels solid if I went to move that with any sort of force I'm sure it would break off. Um, you can see the pivot point here is just totally caked in rust. Um, so this is pretty much, to most people's eyes, it's pretty much scrap and in fact if it didn't have this VR uh, keyhole cover on it I'd probably nearly throw it in the scrap in myself. But let's just give it a go and um, I don't know how well it will come up but we'll give it a go in the electric or the electrolysis tank and um, just see if we can value add this one and I'll show you how it comes up. Uh, a good chance here too to show you um, with this link on here, I won't actually connect this one, I'll, it'll be in the solution, but um, it'll be, in, be interesting to, uh, to see the difference between how this metal here cleans, cleans up and how this loop, which won't have a connection so it won't be undergoing electrolysis, how it comes up just with a bit of a scrub with steel wool. So stay tuned, we'll put it in the tank and We'll see what the finished product's like. Now I was going to take this padlock out after about three days, but I've been extremely busy lately and it's actually been in this tank for just over a week. So uh, a good chance here to see what that sort of time frame's done to it. So I haven't even looked at it in that time. So I'll lift it up here and have a look. Um, you can see it's spin around a bit. It's gone extremely black around the top, so um, certainly it's been bubbling away there for for uh, eight, nine, ten days, maybe nine, I think. So I'll give it a scrub up, and we'll see how it's come up. The water itself um, has got quite quite murky, a lot of rust bubbles around the uh, the anode. But it's been working well, so we'll, we'll scrub this padlock up and just see if we've managed to save it and create something that's actually saleable. Alright, before I start scrubbing, let's have a better look at it. Um, I think that should focus alright. Um, you'll see this top link, which I didn't connect, um, is just sort of a normal rusty colour and it hasn't turned black like the, the padlock had. So. Um, there was no electrical connection to the link and if I did want to clean that as well I would have had to run a separate wire. So we'll scrub it all up now and have a look. Alright, she's all scrubbed up now. Um, you'll see here that the metal itself has, has got a really nice aged patina. You'll also see that the rust, when um, when I showed you at the start, it was caked in rust. Well, it's actually had rusted through the side of the padlock. Um, it's just been buried for such a long time that it was really just starting to return to, to its natural state. Um, but the brass has cleaned up really well. This keyhole cover still hasn't freed up, and I think if I forced it, it would probably snap off. But um, it's really quite a pretty old Victorian Railways padlock. Um, sure, it's never going to work again, and, and it's not complete, but it's uh, it's got a lot of character. I think I'll chop this top link off because it hasn't cleaned cleaned up um, at all because we didn't actually have the electrolysis process happening on that link because there was no connection. But um, I think there something that we had. Um, pretty much wasn't far removed from a lump of iron ore or a lump of dirt um, or a big blob of rust it has now become something that I'll spray that with clear lacquer um, stick it in the shop and I reckon you know, 10 15 bucks no problems and it really hasn't taken any work because it just bubbled away on its own so um, we have actually saved it from from a death 
Uh, it'll probably sit in someone's railway collection or padlock collection. Um, it's just a beautiful old relic of the past. So, so there you go. Another win for electrolysis. Now, if you want to see the exact process, um, I'll put the link on here and you can go to one of my clips where I explain how it all works and how to set up your own tank. Okay, until the next clip, bye for now.